Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the Michael Vaughn case out of Fruitland, Idaho. I'm going to show you the Facebook profiles of two individuals, Stacy Wandra and Sarah Wandra. Stacy and Sarah Wandra, they are a couple. They own a taxi service called Faith Taxi, and I'm going to show you their Facebook profiles right here, right now. Check this out. Authorities might be searching their property or around their property. They might be involved with the, with the Michael Vaughn case. Next door to them, some registered bad people live next door to them. You know, a fluid situation going on in Fruitland, Idaho. I'm going to show you the Facebook profiles of Stacy and Sarah Wandra. Now, Stacy Wandra is currently incarcerated and he's been incarcerated since earlier this spring. So is this all connected to the Michael Vaughn case? Check this pro these profiles out right now. This is the Facebook profile of Stacy Wandra from Fruitland, Idaho, married to Sandra Wandra, Stacy and Sandra Wandra. Looks like they own a Faith Taxi Service LLC. Scrolling down their profile, April 13th of this year, 4 13 22, marks four beautiful and amazing years of marriage with the most amazing woman I know. Happy anniversary, Sandra Wand Wandra, together, always and forever. I love you, baby. Scroll down. Part of a Facebook group called Faith Taxi. Who is this guy? A lot of religious posts here in November. I'm going to go back to around the time Michael Vaughn was reported missing. A lot of religious posts.
All right, well, the religious posts just keep going and going and going and going. Seeing if there's anything on Michael Vaughn that they posted. So Stacy was in the hospital, looks like October 7th, 2021. And you can go on and review everything and slow it down and press pause. I'm just scrolling through the profiles here before, in case they get deleted, Facebook deletes, they delete. Interesting. Missing boy from around my neighborhood. Please help find him. So Sarah did post something about Michael Vaughn. And look, nothing beforehand. Oh, wait, yeah. Started a new job at Sarah's Wash and Dry. So you notice these postings here, right? It's from February. Goes back, married Stacy, 2018. But notice the postings, February 21st, 2021. Then there's a July 11th, 2021 public post. And then the August 2nd, 2021 post about Michael Vaughn, followed by Rack of a religious posts. Isn't that interesting? Very, very interesting. I'm just going to screenshot this right here. All right, so I'm going to scroll off the profile. First off, let me just go back here and see what the about is. Owner, manager of CEO of Sarah's Wash and Dry. Laundry service. And then God stuff. Sarah Ann Wandra, Sarah Bear. Here's the reviews.
All right, so going back to Stacy here. August 13th, 2021. August 13th, August 13th. August 1st. All right, so he now posted something about Michael Vaughn. This is Stacy. Oh man, I gotta go back because I screenshotted it. Let's go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. All right, bear with me, almost there. All right, so he posted right here about Michael Vaughn, July 28th, July 26th. I'm feeling really worried about my wife, Sarah Wandra. Brought her to the emergency department in Ontario, Oregon. She's not feeling good at all. She's having a lot of pains in her stomach. Please be praying for my baby until she feels much better. Let's see who liked this post. All right, you see names here. Let's keep going. like they went on a trip on July 18th. All right, June 13th. And then scrolling back. Okay, so let me just keep going. <laughs> Scroll back down here. Here we go, the about. All right, looks like Sarah has another profile here. Faith Taxi. Let's see the friends list. Wandra. W-O-N-D-R-A. All right, so we got some Wandras here. Carrie Wandra. The Sarah Wandra, we were on this profile earlier. And Stacy Wandra. Carrie, I would assume, is a sister. Maybe. All right, so scroll down the profile. All right, so they got TikTok. April, April. All right, more religious. All right. May 31st, so they have a dog. I'm gonna play music on this. Shot that. Okay. Keep going. Just reading the posts going through. Yes. Let me see. <laughs> 
Who's liking these posts? Waldo Michael. Oh man, I gotta scroll back. All right, we'll go back down. We will go back down. Going down to March. All right. Back to where we came from. Sorry. Right about here. So we'll keep going. March, March. Look at this. Before I went to prison, all I did was basically nothing but do stuff for myself. And when I was in prison, I really found God deeper than I have ever found him before. And I never thought I was capable of doing a whole lot because of some limitations I have both physically and mentally. So if you, uh, if you wouldn't told me what is going on in my life right now, I would have told you that there's no way I could do all of that. God really does have a purpose for each one of us. I also probably wouldn't have been believed that my life would be the way it is now. I now today have a taxi company that I run, also run her mobile mechanics. I have a husband I take care of, seven cats and one dog. My daughter's 17, uh, old, about to be 18 years old. I have more opportunities today than I ever did before the minister to others and spread the gospel of truth. You just never know how God plans to use you in his divine plan. There are so many times I did almost died from sheer wanting to give up. However, God has kept me going and still is. I give all glory and praise to God for the wonderful works that he does. I truly don't deserve all the good things he gives me, but I am grateful for them. We have all fallen short, but God is so good all the time. It's overwhelming to me how good he really is. I love all of you with the fire of God's grace and mercy. May you have a blessed day. Day. All right, let's keep going. That was in March of this year. Liberty Taxi was just stolen from me after it was given to me by Sam M, who gave it to me for literally no reason. If you need a taxi in Ontario all around, you need to call for Ontario and surrounding areas. Just scrolling through this profile for documentation purposes. This was in February. So again, a lot of religious stuff. Made it home safely from Washington. Two, two broken toes. January, some more religion. All right, so now we're in December of 2021. Religious posts.
November 29, 2021, started a new job. Just found out to him an older die, died, older brother died. This is our older brother. Assuming his name is Gary White. Or Gary Wright. More pictures with her and Stacy. All right, so this profile was just set up in November 15, 2021. So as far as back as it goes, it doesn't go around anymore. So just... so let me know what you think. Stacy and Sarah Wandra, are they involved with the Michael Vaughn case? What's going on here? <sighs> Michael Vaughn's been missing for way over a year now. And, you know, hopefully authorities are zeroing in on the people responsible. Remains to be seen. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. I'll be covering this case and posting new stuff as they come along. Everyone be safe. God bless.